Okay, welcome to our third video looking at short run aggregate supply. And in this video, we're just going to spend a couple of minutes uh, looking at two examples of building analytical chains of reasoning to help explain the causes of shifts in short run aggregate supply. Let's just look at two examples. Here's the first, examine the impact of a rise in business taxes on short run aggregate supply. So the word examine, of course, hence you need to put a little bit of evaluation in there as well. Start with a good example. Uh, one example of a new business tax could be the introduction of a carbon tax. Perhaps the government decides to shift from carbon trading uh, to a carbon tax when the UK leaves the European Union. Let's say, for example, the carbon tax is set at £50 per tonne of CO2 emitted. And that would have a macroeconomic effect. It's a government intervention, but of course it's going to affect many industries across the economy. Then build your chain of reasoning. A tax adds to the costs of producers. And then a bit of application, e.g. a power company, a power station, an electricity generator, for example, would now face increased costs of supply energy to the national grid. If we assume other costs stay the same, a Keteris Paribus assumption, then a carbon tax would lead to an increase in unit costs across much of the economy. As a result, connective Phrase there. As a result, there will then be an inward shift of the short run aggregate supply curve. The extent of the shift, a bit of evaluation, depends on how much carbon is emitted by individual businesses and the economy. So it depends, for example, on the fuel efficiency of the aviation sector. It depends on how much carbon is emitted per whatever per unit of GDP across car manufacturing or across the uh, uh, who knows across the construction sector. Okay. So the impact of the carbon tax depends on how high the tax is, but also the extent to which there is carbon efficiency within the economy. And if there's a switch towards cleaner energy and less polluting manufacturing, uh, then the carbon tax might have less impact on short run aggregate supply. And I think that's what you expect over time. If you introduce a carbon tax, then a lot of firms, for example, might switch their, their fuel sources away from, who knows, coal, oil fired heating, maybe towards uh, trying to generate their own renewable energy off grid. So build the chain of reasoning, explain, give good, give good examples and explain what the impact on costs might be. Here's our second example. Let's examine how an appreciation of a currency, if the currency goes up in value, how, how that can impact on aggregate supply in the short term. Start with the definition. A currency appreciation means one currency can buy more of another, for example, the pound rises against the US dollar. One effect of a stronger currency is that the price of imports, when priced in the domestic currency, goes down. So the dollar price might stay the same, but once you divide into pounds, if the pound goes up, the, the price of imports in pounds goes down. For example, crude oil and gas is priced in US dollars. A stronger pound would then, therefore make it cheaper for the UK to import energy. As a result, connective phrase, if energy prices fall, the costs of many producers, car makers, for example, will also go down. This fall in unit costs will lead to, just simple explanation, analytical, analytical phrases, this fall in unit costs will lead to an outward shift in short run aggregate supply, meaning that more, more output can be supplied at each price. Now, crucially, I think we're assuming here that other costs have not changed. We're assuming Keteris Paribus. So a lot depends, for example, on the share of imports in GDP, how, how susceptible, how, how important are imports to, uh, to a country's national output and also the extent of the rise in the exchange rate. That's going to impact on the, the aggregate supply. Uh, in future videos, we will then turn our attention to long-run aggregate supply. But I hope over the course of these three videos, you've now got a good appreciation, a good understanding of short-run aggregate supply. And crucially, from an exam point of view, the key factors that cause a shift in short-run aggregate supply.